Welcome to a new update and in this update we are going to discuss Phantom because we've had some news regarding that project from a few of, uh, well, let's say pioneers and key figures around the Phantom Foundation but also around a few of those other projects. We're going to dive into that topic in this update but before we're going to continue make sure to subscribe beneath and like this YouTube update and also check out my Twitter and Instagram where you can find daily content on the market. So earlier in this week or actually last week we've received some news that um, some projects will be abandoned and that some key figures will be leaving the markets and that's not really new. Um, this, well, let's say game has been happening more often than we actually know of. Um, but it has been happening and it has been impacting the price action of Phantom. Andre Cronje and Anton Nell are leaving crypto. And that is causing some panic among the in investors of the projects that they were involved in. And in this update, we're going to dive into this and what the fallout could actually mean towards the price action of uh, the project in itself and whether you should be keep, keeping your interest or not. So Cronje is considered to be one of the DeFi godfathers. I mean, in 2020, he has been had, uh, he has been having a pioneering role in DeFi as he designed Yearn Finance, which was one of the leading projects back in the DeFi summer of 2020. It was a yield optimizer on the Ethereum blockchain. Cronje is a bit controversial as he has quit a few times over the years and has a tendency to discontinue projects, most notably um, our Eminence Finance, which even got hacked, resulting into millions of losses, and Rarity Adventures, an on-chain experimental game that never had a front end. Antonel is a software engineer and blockchain enthusiast. He has contributed to various projects and maintained a variety of serv services, but most notably um, are his efforts as a senior solutions architect of the Phantom Foundation. And during this time, he has worked closely with Andre Cronje. So those are the two people that we're currently discussing, and that's what we're going to discuss further. We're also going to dive into the price action of Phantom in itself, as right now, um, the entire market is dropping down. We are still correcting significantly. Altcoins are still not having their game. I'm just checking it right now. But most of the altcoins are still down. Well, let's say between 70 to 90% from the all-time high. Whether it was in September or in May. So we're technically in that downwards trending market. And um, Phantom has seen some additional impact with this news. So let's dive into the history of those two people as it's not uncommon that they are saying this. Crypto is a pretty weird place. We all know that some crazy stuff can be happening. We know the Bitfinex hack, right? Which was apparently uh, some random people. I mean, could be happening like, but also with, um, well, the recover or the retirement of Andre Cronje, which is kind of weird as he's one of the crypto's most well-known developers and has contributed to a wide array of projects. But it's not the first time that he's actually been doing it. He has been negative about the entire market already. And he has been doing that in February 2020, just before the March crash of Corona took place, where he made an article on Medium in which he made it with the title of Building in DeFi Sucks. He stated that the main reasons is that it's expensive, the community is hostile, and actually I do have to agree that crypto is quite kind of hostile, but it all starts with the people themselves. And if I look at YouTube crypto, it's actually toxic as fuck. Um, and the users are entitled. A year later, he posted part two to his blog where he ranted some more, but he also stated that he believed that the good outweighed the bad in the industry. And that's always how it goes. If something is being built, you get a ton of shit in which 99% is pure, um, well, bullshit or copycats from the good projects. We can see it in NFTs right now. We don't need all those JPEGs, but they are created for the owners themselves. Um, and in the end, the actual fundamental tech will stay around. And that is where the actual developments takes place. So he's, he's having a good point here. Now, it seems like the bad finally outweighs the good for Andre Cronje as he announced its retirement, his retirement from crypto 
along with Anton Nell, who posted a tweet about them leaving the scene. Although these guys have quit crypto in the past, and they have been negative about crypto in the past too, this time might be different. On one of the tweets, he stated the following. Unlike previous building in DeFi sucks rage quits, this is not a knee-jerk reaction to the hate receiving from releasing a project, but a decision that has been coming for a while now. Thanks, you, thanks to everyone that supported us over the past few years. Is it actually something shouting for attention or is he retiring? Um, it's all depending on himself, of course. But now the question will become, what is going to happen with those projects next as there are many projects that they are involved in. So these two were involved in around 25 projects that they announced they were terminating, causing many of the associated tokens to drop in value. I can see that Phantom dropped significantly in minutes after the retirement tweet was sent out. And that is actually just panic because they are not the only ones working on those projects. Maybe for some they are, but for Phantom the foundation is bigger. So that's what we're going to discuss in the actual closing solution of this update. But some of those projects they were involved in are Phantom, Urine Finance, Keeper Network, Solidly, Solidex, Iron Bank, and Multichain. Not all of them dropped as hard. Urine barely budged, uh, where Solidly dropped 70% or so, and Keeper Network dropped over 40%. Also, Phantom dropped significantly with more than 20% on a day and remains in a downtrend, and it's just an additional push in that, exact, in that actual downtrend, as the sentiment on the markets is already quite bearish, and when this news comes out, it just pushes the price even more down. But was Phantom, for instance, ready for such a correction? I think it actually was. So the choice of words about the projects by Antonel and his tweet could have been an extra source of FUD, as he mentioned that they were terminating 25 dApps and services. The projects will still exist. Uh, these two will just not be involved anymore, and they cannot be terminating those projects. If they can, it's not really decentralized. They are only terminating their own involvement. People are afraid that many of those projects lost their leaders and will show diminishing quality because of it. The truth is, however, that they were not necessarily heavily involved in every one of those uh, projects or that they are even important anymore at all. By now, a lot of these projects they have built do not need them to succeed. For instance, Phantom has other builders at this point. So Yearn Finance is a good example of this as well. While Cronier founded the project, it has grown out to a massive project with a large team that does not rely on his input anymore. So let's have a discussion of all those projects themselves and then we can start looking at the price action too. So the first of those projects is Yearn Finance. Immediately after Anton's tweet, Bontek clarified on Twitter that Cronier has not worked on Yearn Finance for over a year. Um, and that they have a huge team of contributors to the project. And it's a huge team, 50 full-timers, 140 part-timers. They clearly aren't depending on Kronje and are completely doing their own thing. A revision of Ivy's tokenomics is still on the horizon and the team keeps building no matter the market conditions. Let's have a look at the price action of Yearn to see where we are standing at this point. So when we're looking at the price action of Ivy, we can actually see that it's trending south since May, right? So the price action is down approximately 80%, which is not uncommon for most of the DeFi projects. If we're looking at Sushi, for instance, Sushi is also down even more. It's down approximately 90% already since the peak high in 2021. Uniswap, pretty much the same view. And that is giving you a conclusion that if you want to become interested into the markets, the coming period is actually where you want to become interested and um, the same is actually the case for Ivy, in which it is down 80% since the recent all-time high. Also, the Bitcoin pair is just trending south, seeking for support. I'd rather want to watch the USDT pair, as that is also giving you confluence with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is bottomed out, I think the chances for DeFi are going to be big, as the overall TVL in DeFi is just staying where it is. So... The news came out and the actual price action of IV is not really reflecting on it. Um, the market was already trending south, so maybe it has been pushing it a little bit more down. But at this stage, it's not really that much reflected. I think because of that, that you'd rather want to look for longs at this point. So let's move towards the next project. Keeper Network is another one. As for Keeper, it's a bit of a different story. It seems that this project was mainly in the hands of Kronje 
and it now is missing its captain. It remains unclear whether other community members are picking up the project or if it's completely shutting down. Keeper promised, proposed to bring Forex trading to the blockchain, an ambitious project with saw some minor successes along its lifespan. So some of the projects are just continuing. Some of the projects are going to be abandoned. It's depending on the influence of Cronier to those projects. And the next one is the biggest one, and that is Phantom Foundation. So the biggest one is Phantom. This token was hit hard by a sell-off and not only on the price action but also the TVL has been dropping significantly. And in the beginning of March we have reached a... Actually Phantom was one of the big runners still despite the fact that the markets were correcting significantly. So Phantom has reached the TVL of approximately 12 billion and down, now it's down to 7 billion. Of course the markets are not really pushing the, the markets forward, so the price action is one of the reasons why the TVL is also dropping as the underlying asset of the, um, of the TVL is dropping in value in terms of USD. So that is why the TVL drops in itself too. But this news is not really pushing the project further um, either. So we are currently down to 7 billion. There's also another reason, which is that um, the actual drop can be explained by hype surrounding the new DEX model proposed by Kronje and Daniel Sestagalli, another notable uh, figurehead in the crypto community called Solidly. Without going too much in detail, the launch of the DEX house fueled by hype and attracted billions in TVL. Although this news is far from good for Phantom, it's not something it will not recover from. Short term, this news might lead to more pain for Phantom, but the team is large. And capable enough of moving forward so let's look at the price action of phantom so when we're looking at phantom against usdt we can see that it has been having some serious runs and it was one of the ecosystems actually has still having hype while the markets were correcting that doesn't mean that it can correct all the way back if we look back at the history it also has been seeing a new all-time high and then it started to correct even more retesting some levels before we continued the actual bull market and that's that case we took out this high as we can see here and started to reverse in which we took this high uh, low made a slight bounce started to correct downwards even more in which we took out this low I had a nice bounce back up but i stated that if i uh, on twitter earlier if i clearly want to see some momentum i'd rather want to see 185 flip as support which we couldn't be doing and now we have been taking out those lows once again and I think that we're actually seeking for support in the end around 82 cents to a dollar. That is probably the area where you want to be seeking for entries overall for Phantom, despite the fact that the news has been making some reactions, of course. Phantom against Bitcoin, looking at support at this stage, could still be dropping down a little bit more at this stage, especially given the fact that we're currently still trending south. So rather looking to sell your position based on the news which is an overreaction i think that you want to be looking at entry points especially since the markets have been dropping down approximately 70 percent already let's look at the next project so with cronier quitting and the uncertain fate of solidly it seems that all these billions are leaving the phantom ecosystem which we just discussed as well with the tvl dropping significantly not to take anything away from Solidly because it's still a very interesting and valuable project, but the execution could have been better. Already various parties have picked up the responsibility of hosting the, a front end for the project and are looking to continue the project together. So this could be an overreaction on all the prices for the projects or an overreaction from the community. Um, as the community is slowly taking over the, pro the, the, the control of the project. So it's very important to keep an eye on the developments here as the strong sell-off could eventually be a big financial opportunity if people are picking up the project or if people are continuing to build on a project. And that's why you have to keep an eye on the fundamentals, but that's also why you keep an eye on the TVL of the project themselves. So let's get towards the conclusion of this update on Phantom. All right, so I've shaved myself for this last part, the conclusion. But the projects were um, hit by the news that Cronier and Nil are leaving, their, uh, leaving the actual projects. That's something that we can conclude. However, we also know that those projects have been trending south. So the conclusion of this update is probably that people are overreacting to the news and that they are 
giving too much value to those two people while there is an actual foundation an actual group of people actually working on those projects themselves so i think that right now and we've seen that in the prices being reflected we've seen that projects are dropping in their values in terms of usd or bitcoin value and that was already taking place so this is just an additional push south and now the question for you is that you're going to dive into the actual fundamentals of the project and you're going to research whether the project is being pushed forward so if the community is going to take into account or going to take over the actual project that is where you can actually get yourself a beautiful financial opportunity because the markets are made for people that are overreacting towards news we also have seen it on bitcoin we are seeing it on gold gold is going up why is gold going up because of panic regarding russia and also regarding uh, the supply chain shocks that we currently are having in all the markets itself so phantom is nothing different or yield fi Euro finance is nothing different it's used an overreaction to what we have been seeing or what we have been getting from the news and yet some smaller projects are going to have an impact on this and they will be abandoned and probably will not be coming back but the bigger ones have a big community behind it and a big team working on it so if that work continues to be built right now the progress will be there fundamentally and then the gap between fundamental and price will be coming bigger and that is where you can get your maximum financial opportunity so i would rather want to be looking at potential long entries and i would be looking at potential investments if i were interested into the phantom foundation or in yearn finance DeFi in itself Finally, Cronje has quit a few times in the past, but always came back. Last year, he has often spoken out against the toxic DeFi community and his displeasure with how builders always carry the heaviest weight. I have to agree with him. The space isn't really that fun unless you're in with, connected with people that are actually fun and then they still backstab you. So um, it, it's definitely a toxic community, uh, but he also stated that he loved the coding process and therefore it remains up for debate whether Kronje is really quitting or whether we will be coming back in a year or maybe he comes back anonymous building on new projects again so conclusion yes the price action is dropping down because of the news it is impacting the prices itself but i think it's giving you some serious financial opportunities um, don't forget to subscribe beneath like this youtube update don't do stupid shit and I'll see you again Monday during the live stream at 7 p.m. Central European time. Have a good one.